God wants to teach you the discipline of a budget. God wants to teach you the discipline of living under your means, acting your wage. Not looking like you are rich when you're not. Not dressing like you are rich when you're not. Not driving like fancy like when you are not. But to stay within your lane. Cut your coat according to your size. You know, it's a beautiful thing when you have a house and between you and the ceiling there is space. How many of you have space between you and the ceiling when you sleep? It's a beautiful thing. I remember a few years ago I was pretty radical and I brought a casket to the church but that's not the radical part. I dressed up like a Catholic priest but that wasn't the radical part. The third radical part that I did which I put my brother in a casket. He was already acting up and so I decided to kind of put the cherry on the top of the cake and I put him right there in the casket uh, and uh, he, he was brought here and the casket if I'm not mistaken I think it was even closed and then they opened it and lo and behold my brother was there he had earphones so he kept, kept playing his wonderful music so he doesn't get too much death inside of his emotions and the, the bad part about living in a casket is that between you and the ceiling there is no space what makes casket dangerous is when there is no breathing room in the casket many people their finances are in a casket between their income and their expenses there is no breathing room one thing that you must learn in the process of wilderness is God wants to make breathing room in your finances sometimes you gotta downsize sometimes you gotta get rid of certain things sometimes you gotta pick up another job sometimes listen you gotta pass on and the new iPhone and the new toys and the new things sometimes you gotta pretend and look as though you might not be as prosperous as others sometimes you gotta turn on turn off the cable even disconnect certain things you will be just fine honey you make it Jesus made it without cable And even if you have to take a public transportation, Jesus changed the world without a car. If, even if it temporarily, you have to do something to learn a discipline that God feeds me, God provides for me. But I am in this season going to learn how to not spend. See, it's good to dream always higher than your income. The problem happens when you start spending on the level of your dream. It's good to be on the level of your dream mentally. Don't ever take your budget on the level of your dream. Because honey, you're going to lose everything. And they're going to take the car and they're going to put you in jail all while you are dreaming. In the first level, God wants to teach us to live within our budget. To live as people who are managing our finances correctly. That when God brings provision, the habits we have here, we will carry them into the other life. The habits that we develop, it saddens me to see people who today in our culture, it has become popular to buy things, not that you can pay for, but buy things you can put on payments. You no longer ask, can I afford it? You only ask the question now. We ask the question is, can I afford the payments? The couch is on payments. The hat is on payments. The phone is on payments. That poor shoes, the underwear is on payments. Everything is on payments. The only thing that's not on payments is you. And guess what happens? We squeeze the breathing room out of our finances. We begin to suffer emotionally. We become worried. We become anxious. Our marriage is strings. We have troubles and, and difficulties. All while we buy things we don't need to impress people we don't like with money we don't have. God wants to teach you to live on a budget. And if you are a young person, live like that so many people they max everything out and they they say now i want god to bring me prosperity to bail me out out of the mess i got my into god gives you prosperity not to bless your mess but to reward you that in your time when things were tight you were responsible you were disciplined and you were faithful in jesus name can somebody say amen